a servant leader has been described as one who is bold enough to correct those he's leading without fear or favor of anyone he is also in charge of his territory, securing the lives and properties, peace of his followers. This was the assertion of the vicar of St. Matthew's Anglican Church, Meitama Abuja, the Venerable Ludari Otoki, during his sermon at the Thanksgiving service of Napti. Speaking on the topic, servant leadership, Venerable Otoki encouraged those in position of authority to lead by example, while commending the Director General of the National Agency for the prohibition of trafficking in persons, NAPTI, for her good works in fighting human traffickers. A servant leader is someone who is bold enough to correct us without being there afraid that next time they will not vote for him. Somebody will call a spade a spade. It's a watchman who will see the danger and will be confident enough, will be bold enough to tell you that what you are doing is wrong, when you are doing something wrong, that will not be afraid of incarceration. So we give kudos to the DG and all the management and staff members of the United They are in our midst today to do Thanksgiving. And we are very happy, we are in tune to welcome you. It shall be well within Jesus' name. And what I'm praying for you because I know that when you are walking like this, these two people will not be happy. Those who are doing the trafficking will not be happy. My prayer for each and every one of you is that the sword of the avenger will not land upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. The cleric for the urge Christians to pray without ceasing, stressing that God is capable of bringing them out of every ugly situation. I'm telling you today by the mercy and by the spirit of God, if you are down to nothing today, God is up to something. Don't end your life. Don't commit suicide. Don't say it has finished. The last chapter of your life has not been written. That you are still alive today means God still has something good in store for you. Your present condition is not your final conclusion. Anyone who is using his position or opposition, anyone who is using power or authority to take what rightly belongs to you from you, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, there will be restoration. There will be restoration. There will be restoration. And if there is any one of you listening to me today and somebody is sitting on your right, we move that person in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray. Don't depend on prayer alone. Prayer is a necessity condition, a necessary condition, but not a sufficient condition. And the Lord Almighty God will grant our efforts with success. During our address to the church, the Director General of NAPTIP, called on all who are involved in human trafficking to desist from it. We are using this opportunity to thank God for protecting our officers and men from the hands of evil and deadly traffickers. Um, we are thanking God because we have not lost any of our men and officers uh, during our operations. A lot of people actually aid and abet trafficking without even knowing it. We have lots of women uh, who get, who are employed on that age they also their homes, that is child trafficking. And uh, if you are found with me on that age I will personally arrest you. The labor rights body of Israel wages will be salaries of someone who is working for you to an agent that is trafficking. So please, if you are in the habit of doing that, stop it immediately. And if you know any of such agents, please report to that agent so they can arrest you. High points of the Thanksgiving service was intensive praise and worship prayers as the band led the congregation into the throne of grace. Oh, 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 oh. 